Well, hey folks, how are you? My name is Derek. I'm, uh, I'm the fellow in Canada that builds custom orthopedic splints out of silver. Uh, splints that don't look like splints, they look like rings actually. It's just a combination of rings, just to stabilize joints, to support joints, or to uh, even position them so that uh, we can take away a lot of pain and stuff. And some of the splints, or most of the splints I build, quite a few of the splints I build, are directly related to Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And that's what I'm here to talk to you to, about today. Um, the uh, splint that I'm going to be focusing on, and it's just one, uh, is called the Swan Neck Splint. All right, and uh, how it directly relates to Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome as well as stabilizing joints so that we can make our hands more useful and functional. All right, uh, the Swan Neck Splint, I'll show you a quick little sample of them. I've got two different versions of it. One is very simple. All right, it's um, basically two oval elliptical rings with flat surfaces on pressure points to hold your finger into position. All right, and it's worn like this. Uh, with EDS, you deal with hypermobility. You can dislocate, you can hyperextend. Um, there's quite a bit of pain involved with that too sometimes. But what we do is we hold it in a slightly flexed position. Neutral, straight across. All right, neutral is good. Slightly flexed, like five degrees of flexion is perfect. And that's what this splint does by working with three points of pressure. Um, distal, proximal, as well as right underneath the joint. Allows for full flexion, just stops hypermobility. Along with that too, we can do a few little options, like we can add lateral supports, and that's for laxity, uh, for joint stabilization, all right, for joints that are going side to side. Very comfortable, but also creates that stability so that um, you have full function still, but laxity is also taken care of as well. Um, these splints are built, are made for any IP joint of the hand. So an IP joint, technically means interphalangeal, um, would be any distal IP joint, which would be closest to the fingernail, or proximal IP joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, which is the next one coming up. So I can build you a swan neck splint for either proximal or distal for each finger going across, uh, including the IP joint of the thumb. Now, the benefits or the advantages of wearing a splint like this. Um, it stabilizes the IP joint, all right? Uh, the laxity starts to go away because we're stopping the hypermobility or the hyperextension that's from it. Um, it stops joint fatigue. I know it feels good um, talking to a lot of EDSers to be able to extend your fingers to stretch them out and that type of thing, but it's really 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 stressful on those joints so what we can do by stabilizing the finger in a slightly flexed position like this we stop that joint fatigue from happening all right um, it also stops tendon stress tendon stress is another um, source of pain that's involved with uh, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and, and the fingers as well now a splint like this allows for full mobility stops hyperextension so it's a type of splint uh, that you can wear 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I have some clients that uh, who were using their splints all the time, don't even realize that they have them on um, until they take them off, right? Uh, they don't miss them un until they take them off and then they realize, hey, I don't have my splints on. So it is something that you can wear 24 hours a day. Um, the, some of those advantages that I was talking to about, about stabilizing those joints and such, um, it's progressive. Okay, um, I understand, um, I've, I've been doing this now for 20 years, so, um, which might be a little bit of a shock. There are people in Canada who do know about EDS and uh, functions and everything like that. I'm one of them. And I've worked directly with clients over that time too. Um, the progressive thing about the Swan Neck Splint, all right, this is where um, when I'm talking to therapists or physicians, um, even rheumatologists, that type of thing, when we're afraid to use our hands because of pain or dislocation, uh, we don't use them very much, okay? Uh, and that being the case, atrophy or weakness just kind of sets in along with that, and, which is completely understandable. I mean, if it hurts, you're just not going to use it, right? Now, if we can stabilize these joints, this was what we do with these swan neck splints, um, you'll find that you start using your hands more because it doesn't hurt so much. 
right? You're going to grasp things. Your fingers aren't going to dislocate on a doorknob or on uh, just basic function activities. So you're going to find that you're using your hands more. Now it does take some getting used to to you know stop the hypermobility or the hyperextensions that come along with it. But once you do get used to it, you'll find that you're using your hands more. As you're using your hands more, that strength starts to come back. Okay, so this is where it's progressive. Um, the pain starts to dissipate um, uh, because we're stabilizing those joints again and we're holding them into an ideal position. So for those of you that are in continuous hand or finger pain, that ache starts to go away as we properly position those fingers. And this is why um, it's very important that we, uh, we splint your fingers or that we splint EDS fingers um, even at an early stage so you can get used to them as you're growing, all right? but also uh, to preserve those joints. And that's where we start talking about the long-term positive effects of splinting like this. Continuous hyperextension, hypermobility of the IP joints um, leads, uh, how do I say this? Leads to, uh, uh, or can lead to osteoarthritis over time. All right, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I'm in my 50s now. Um, and I do have a lot of joint pain myself. And so I, I understand a portion of it, not to say I'm not putting myself in your shoes or anything like that. But if we can be proactive, if we can stabilize your joints before the pain starts, or that osteoarthritis starts to set in, as opposed to being reactive, dealing with it afterwards, then we're much further ahead because uh, five years down the road, 10 years down the road, you'll be in a same, similar position as what you are today. So, and that's our goal, one of our goals with this. The uh, continuous hypermobility of the IP joints can lead to osteoarthritis of, the, of those joints, which can really hurt over time. Now, to stop hyperextension now, uh, we preserve those joints for years to come, which is another reason why we like working with uh, Swan Neck Splints and Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Now, there are, uh, this is a program that we're, we're working on right now. Um, I have so many people saying, how can I get these splints? How can I get these splints? Well, we work with about three, 400 therapists across the country who do assessments, who do measuring, and um, um, you can go to visit them, or this program that we're developing right now is a home measuring program. Um, this means that you can order up one of our kits, all right? This is a home measuring kit. Um, go through the whole process and uh, you can fill out the order form, send back the kit. I build you the splints and I mail them back to you. We're, it's not that we're cutting out the middleman, but we're allowing you easier access to these splints.